Hey guys, my name is Blake, also known as Nailed It here on YouTube. I make videos about DIY projects, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this board and batten wall in my daughter's bedroom. I don't want to waste any time, so let's get started. Nailed it! The first thing to do with any project like this is start measuring for material. My room is about 115 inches wide, and for me personally, I'm going to go about 60 inches tall. I'll be putting two boards in at the top and bottom, along with six boards evenly spaced in the middle. To also give the wall a little bit more definition, I'll be putting a smaller board at the top, kind of like a little shelf. In order to calculate how much material we need, I'll first take the total length of my board, in this case 115 inches, and times that by however many boards I need, which gives me a total of 230 inches. Now I need to convert those inches into feet, and so I'll divide that by 12, because there are 12 inches in one foot. This then gives me a total of 19.16 feet, so when I go to the store to pick up my supplies, I know that I'll need two 10 foot boards for a total of 20 feet. Now that example that I just went over will only cover the amount of material for the two red boards. So make sure you do the math for the green as well as the blue boards so you only have to take one trip to the store. The list of supplies that I'll be taking to the store will look something like this as well as the tools you'll need to complete this project. The first thing to do is to score a line with your knife on the caulk so the baseboard is easier to take off. Once that's done you can take your crowbar and lightly tap on the top of the baseboard until it comes loose. Then just pry it off the wall. Make sure to remove any leftover nails or any caulk that's stuck to the wall still. I'll be using this 3.5 inch by half inch pre-primed MDF. If you live in a high humidity state, you may want to use something like pine instead. The next thing we'll need to do is cut our baseboard so the MDF can slide into place. I'll now go along the wall and find all the studs and then nail the MDF to each of the studs. I'll be using this brad nailer with 2 inch nails. I'll then do the exact same thing to the board on the top as well as marking a horizontal line 60 inches high on the wall. Then I'll put the board on the horizontal mark I just made and nail it one time into the stud. Once you have it nailed once, grab your level and then nail the other side once it's level. Then just nail it into each stud like you did on the bottom. If you happen to come across a nail that didn't quite go in all the way, just grab your punch and tap it a couple of times. Now it's time to install the vertical boards and I'll be nailing this one to the stud that's in the corner. If you don't have a stud, this is where the liquid nails comes in handy. I got this for only a couple bucks and it works great for stuff like this. Since I don't have a stud in the corner, I'll just be applying the liquid nails and then nailing it into the drywall the best I can. This should hold it in place until the liquid nails can dry. I'll then go down the wall and put a mark where each of the boards needs to go. And since I like you guys so much, I made a calculator that will do all the math for you so you don't have to figure this part out. I'll leave a link to that right below the like button. Now I'll just be repeating the steps that we just went through. If there's a stud, I'll nail it to the stud, and if there's not, then I'll apply the liquid nails to the back. The last two boards on the wall needed to be seamed at the bottom since the board wasn't long enough, so I just followed the same steps as before, and then I lined them up with my level to make sure it was nice and square. Now I'm going to be installing the top shelf that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I'll simply place it on top and nail it into the MDF. This is what we have so far, and now it's time to caulk and paint. I'll be using this Alex Fast Dry Paint in 20 Minutes caulk, and I'll be using this Salmon Run color that my wife picked out. 
Here's a couple quick tips on caulking. I just apply the caulk in the seam where the two pieces meet and then I just wipe it with my finger. Any caulk left on my finger then goes over the nail holes or in the seams. If you want, you can also get a tool that looks like this that helps with finished caulking. I'll leave a link to a couple different ones down in the description if you're interested. Before I start painting, I lightly sand down the seams with some sandpaper and then wipe everything down with a damp rag. Then I mask everything off with some tape and start painting. I like to put two coats of paint on because you always miss some spots on your first coat. Well, I hope you guys learned something today and saved some money in the meantime. If you did, consider sharing this video with your friends and family. And if your finished results look like this, then congratulations, you nailed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like down below and comment if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys later.